Today, we're going to take a look at seven reasons why appliance repair businesses fail. And you're not going to want to miss number seven, because it's probably the number one reason why most businesses fail. First off, let's start with some statistics, shall we? Did you know that about half of all small businesses fail within five years, with many of those failing in the first couple of years? And nine out of 10 will fail before its 10th year. So how do you keep your appliance repair business from becoming one of those statistics? There is a power in learning from others. So let's take a look at these seven reasons most appliance repair businesses fail. Number one, having an employee mindset versus a business owner mindset. Remember, you are creating a business, not just a job for yourself. And way too many small business owners approach their business from a job mentality. Yes, you are fixing appliances, but you are also a small business owner who owns an appliance repair business. It is critical that you identify as the business owner and not the appliance repair tech. For many of you, you are the only person in your business. Therefore, you wear the employee hat as well as the business owner hat. So it is easy to get lost in the employee mindset. I'm sure you've heard of the saying working in your business versus on your business. The employee works in the business. The business owner works on the business. When a business owner spends all of their time working in the business, then the business begins to fail due to no one taking the reins on where the business is going. And more importantly, no one is looking out for the profitability of the business. The second problem with having an employee mindset versus a business owner mindset comes when you are making decisions. An employee will solve the problem of the moment but a business owner needs to solve not only the current problem, but think of a long-term solution. Business owners are constantly improving their business's processes. When the business owner is thinking like an employee, the business tends to just exist versus having a clear vision on where it's going and focusing on constant improvement. All right, number two, paying yourself incorrectly in the business. As I mentioned, you are wearing two hats in your business. Therefore, you are also being paid two different ways in the business, especially if you're doing the employee work of the business, which most of you typically are. In the beginning, most small business owners tend to pocket money that's left over at the end of the day after paying their cost. Later, they tend to take out a flat monthly fee out of the business. However, just keep in mind, those are employee wages. The business owner you is paid out of the profits of the business. Just because you are taking money each month doesn't mean you are being paid as a business owner as well as an employee or that your business is profitable. Businesses fail when they focus on this employee income versus creating a business that pays you both as the employee and the business owner. The appliance repair businesses that fail have typically created a job for themselves versus creating a solid business. It is critical that you pay yourself a fair wage as an employee in your business, but it is just as critical that you focus on the profitability of the business in creating an owner's wage as well. It is only after you are able to pay yourself both ways, you are considered a successful business that can beat the odds, which leads us to the most third common reason appliance repair businesses tend to fail, pricing their services incorrectly. A huge mistake that appliance repair businesses make is how they price their services. When our pricing is off, we tend to make less money for the business. Keep in mind the simple formula for your business. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. This is the basic flow of money through your business. And since sales is the first part of the formula, it is safe to say that it all starts with pricing correctly. Way too many appliance repair businesses undervalue their services, costing them profits. They fail to account for the right amount of costs, expenses, but also that employee wage, as well as the owner's profits. But profits aren't the only thing that bad pricing impacts. When you are priced incorrectly, you will end up working longer and longer hours chasing new sales to pay the bills and will soon burn out. When this happens, so does the realization that it might be easier to just go back to being an appliance repair tech for someone else. After struggling to make ends meet and working 60 to 70 hours a week, the appliance repair business owner closes the business. The goal of pricing isn't to be the cheapest. This isn't a race to the bottom. It is about charging correctly for the value you provide. While all appliance repair companies fix appliances, not all of them can do it the way that you do it. It could be your skill level, your service, your hours, or any other special sauce you bring to the table. But you need to know your value. You need to stand out above the others and charge accordingly. Now, this isn't a pricing video, so if you want to learn more about pricing, I'll put a link below as I have other videos that can help you on your pricing. Please make sure that you are pricing correctly. You really need to make sure that you are being paid as both the appliance repair tech and the business owner. It is the single biggest mistake that many small business owners make. 
Now, number four, not being crystal clear on who your ideal customer is. Yes, you want to serve every customer that has an appliance problem, but you also want to make sure that everybody uses your business over your competition. But if you approach it from this way, you're going to end up serving no one. Even worse, you will get every person under the sun that only wants your cheap services because you really haven't set the stage for who you would love to serve. Think of it this way. There are appliance repair businesses that specialize in all types of appliances, yet there are others that specialize in older appliances before they became so electronic. Yet there are others that specialize in these higher end, high tech appliances. Can you stand out in one of these two categories? One would target older neighborhoods while the other person would target high income type neighborhoods. Some folks specialize in just washers and dryers and become the guru of washers and dryers. And that is who you call if you have an issue with your washer or dryer. Not just some ordinary appliance company, but you want the specialist on washers and dryers. Or you could focus on warranty work. Many folks start out this way until they realize they can make way more money on their own. But it is a great way to start your business. But at the end of the day, who do you want to serve? Do you want to focus on landlords and property managers? Then target rental neighborhoods. If you don't, then you need to make sure that you're targeting high owner occupant neighborhoods. Who do you want to focus on? Solve their problems. Be their specialist. By being a specialist, you can charge more money. There is a reason a brain surgeon, a heart doctor, etc. make way more money than a doctor who is a family doctor. You get the idea. The more you narrow down, the bigger the following you can create without having to spend tons of money on advertising and trying to find new customers. If you chase everyone, you might just end up with all types of customers that you don't want to serve. There are a lot of people out there that do what it is that you do. How will you be the go-to appliance repair business in your community? You know, the one that everybody wants. So focus your attention and your energy on those you want to serve. Now, the fifth reason appliance repair businesses fail is they expand beyond their local community way too soon. The average business has thousands of homes within a five to 10 miles of their location. However, in a bid to grow the business, they mistakenly chase business 30 to 60 minutes out of their area, thus driving up their costs, the wear and tear on their vehicles, and a lot of lost jobs due to being on the road all the time. Another thing way too many business owners try to do is they jump to a new city and try to expand to get more business. And the reality is there's plenty of business close to home. Just think about how many homes are within a 15 minute drive from where you are. I'm pretty sure all of them have appliances inside. The typical appliance repair only helps about 5% of their local area. What if you could get that up to 15%? That's more than doubling your business and sometimes tripling your business. Trust me, there's plenty of business in your hometown. Quit spending time, energy, resources, and gas and wear and tear on your vehicle to go everywhere under the sun. Businesses fail when they chase business that does not help their bottom line and business outside of your immediate area comes at a cost. And while you might gain more sales, those extra costs hit your profitability. And as we have discussed, without profit, the business fails. Focus on a smaller area and I promise you word of mouth will get out and you will start getting other people that want to come to you, especially if you focus on that ideal customer we talked about earlier. Okay, the number six reason why appliance repair businesses fail is poor communication with your customers. One of the most overlooked items that kill a small business is poor communication. How many times have you and a customer butted heads over something that turned out to be a communication problem? But this type of communication problem isn't the only issue that can hurt your appliance repair business. How often are you staying in touch with your past clients? This is a great way to encourage returning customers and guarantee future sales. Not to mention top of mind awareness when their friends call them needing a referral. Ever call a business and never get a call back? How often does this happen in your business? Do you have a message that tells folks that you'll call them back within the next 24 hours? And more importantly, do you actually do it? How do you handle those emergency situations? Yes, not all things are emergencies, but $400 in rotting food is a pretty big issue to most folks. There are a ton of businesses that have websites that have an email for potential clients to reach out to them. Yet this email either doesn't work or no one ever reaches back out to you. This happens to me all of the time. Heck, I have attempted to use small businesses that do not respond to either email or phone calls. Then they wonder why the business isn't making any money and will soon fail. By the way, poor communication happens with employees as well. Owners failing to communicate clear expectations to their team often leads to a loss in business and profits. Good communication helps you stand out from your competition. I love all of the business I have received over the years due to my competition being horrible at communication. It has led to thousands of dollars in my pocket. Never underestimate the power of good communication and how it will lead to more business and more profits. Okay, the biggest reason appliance repair businesses fail, which is the seventh reason, which is not knowing or understanding their business numbers. Okay, folks, let me tell you, businesses fail for a variety of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is due to not knowing their business numbers. 
If a business owner knows their business numbers, they are more likely to react to problems way before they become profit killers. They are smarter about how they spend their business profits and they ensure that they get a return on the money that they spend. They tend to price better and they tend not to chase sales they shouldn't be chasing. Earlier, I shared my number one calculation that I think all small business owners need to know. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. This is the basis of all business numbers. It is the flow of money through your business. Understanding your profit and loss statement ensures that you know where your hard earned money is going. It is the business's report card. Businesses fail when they shoot from the hip day after day without looking at the numbers and understanding what is the best decision they should make. Everything you do in your business will be tied to numbers. This doesn't mean you need to memorize anything other than the sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. A calculator is your best friend and you can look up everything else that you need to know. But there is a power in looking at your business trends. What does each March look like? How are your sales spread out across the months? What are they telling you? When should you be preparing for the next season? The list goes on and on. Want to purchase a new piece of equipment? Great. Use your numbers to determine what type of return you need to get on that equipment just to break even. Just like the words in a book tell you a story, so do the numbers of your business. You just want to learn the story that your numbers are telling you. I know you want to run a very profitable appliance repair business. Remember, your business has one job, and that is to be profitable. Yes, you need to provide a great service with amazing customer service, but in order for your business not to fail, you must make money. Your business numbers are the key to you not making simple mistakes that can lead to your appliance repair business closing its doors. I give you my promise. I will continue to create more videos that will help you understand your business numbers better. There is even an affordable course below in the show notes for those who don't want to go hunting for all the free videos on the channel. Listen, I could build a list of 20 reasons appliance repair businesses fail, but if you focus on these seven areas, you will give yourself a fighting chance to beat the statistics and have a thriving business. For more videos to help you grow your appliance repair business, then don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell. Don't forget to check out one of the other videos showing on the screen.